All right, so we are back with a, another episode of Digging in My Shorts. And technically, we are digging in a long box, but the books that are pulled from here will actually go into a short box. So the title, the name still holds up. But this is a box that I pulled from the collection, um, and this is labeled Wonder Woman. You can see that it's also labeled in a couple of different places, DC. So this is definitely a DC box. And uh, clearly, clearly has been labeled a Wonder Woman uh, box. So I've scan kind of sort of scanned what was in here. I don't know exactly what's in here, but I kind of flipped through it and saw that, yes, it, it indeed is Wonder Woman throughout here. So we'll take a look at it. But what you can see right away, hopefully on camera, is that there are some books that are bagged and bored, and there are some that are not. And um, depending upon the box that I open up, uh, you, you, you find a, a mixture of things. I found um, bins that are completely bagged and boarded. I found ones that are completely unbagged and boarded. I found many that are a mixture uh, skewing one way or the other. But uh, we're going to go through this thing and we're going to see what's in here. And I actually want to want to grab my phone there and I want to grab it so that I can actually pull up Key Collector app. Uh, because this this app has been a huge saving grace for me um, prior to this collection, but certainly as a result of this collection, because there are many, many books in this collection that are not um, books that I'm absolutely familiar with because I'm not the biggest DC guy, but I'm learning. Um, so uh, I used the Key Collector app to, to help me out. So this is a cool book that just came out. It's Wonder Woman and Superman number 226. And what I'll be doing here is I'm actually going to kind of go through here, see what I can see, see what I recognize. If I recognize things, I'll actually pull them out, set them to the side. And um, but rest assured that I'll go back through with a uh, with a fine tooth, tooth comb to make sure that uh, I identify any books that may be coming out. So you may be watching this. You may go, oh, why'd you put that nice book back in? Well, it's because I don't readily recognize it. <laughs> but rest assured, like I said, that I'll go back through and uh, pull things out. But what you're probably noticing here is that as I go through these um, books here, there are some that are facing you and then there are some that are facing me. That is basically how uh, this individual organized his collection, basically two books facing one another. So just uh, you'll have to bear with me as I go through. And then in many cases, there are double copies, triple copies, multiples. So in fact, here, as I look at these first couple, uh, many of them were essentially the exact same book. So it's Wonder Woman uh, 221 right there. Another copy of 221, another 221. Sometimes what he does is he'll actually, um, this is 220. What he'll actually do is bag and board one, and then the others will, will not be bagged and boarded. It's a pretty cool cover right there. 219. I think he was a um, Wonder Woman fan. I mean, definitely a DC fan, but he might also be a Wonder Woman fan because there's a healthy amount of uh, Wonder Woman books that I have been going through over like the last two weeks or so. Some of these are just really cool covers. I'm not even sure who uh, who's done these covers, but they are actually pretty, pretty darn nice. Some cool stuff here. 214 right there. So maybe a little little easier if I just jump to some of the uh, that are ones that are already bagged and board boarded. That may be a good indication of like what's in here, and then I'll just go back through it. Oh, there's a uh, Adam Hughes right there. That's a uh, Wonder Woman. 193 right there you will set that to the side let's see what this is that is a 194 right there so we'll drop that back in another adam hughes there 192 i think i already have a copy of that somewhere what i um what i will do is when i go back through here in more detail i will be bagging and boarding a lot of these It's a really nice Adam Hughes right there. That one's cool. 
it's 178 that's cool book we'll set that to the side adam hughes has done a lot of these covers and um they are they are pretty nice i've actually seen this book three or four times in various bands because again as i mentioned big uh what appears to be a big wonder woman fan it's another adam hughes book right here let's see let's pull these up one of the cool things about key collector app is that you can actually search by artist so we'll pull up adam hughes and we'll see whether these wonder woman books are popping up wonder woman will search We'll search within his sort for Wonder Woman, if we can get it to work. And by get it to work, I mean type correctly. So we'll see whether there's some in here. 139, 140. He's done a lot of, a lot of great covers here. 146. A lot of these I've already pulled out of other bands. There's 153. I'd like to find that one. That's a cool, it's a cool cover right there. 154 is one that I do have for a fact. Let me jump down here a little bit. The one that I really want, I want to find 184. I want to find that book. 184, if we can find that in this in this stack, that would be a huge win. 184 is just a gorgeous, gorgeous cover. Fingers crossed. Where'd that go? 184, I scroll right past it. I'd like to find that book. Let's see if we can find that one. That would be a huge win. Slide this back in here. We'll go back and get that later. That's 165 right there. I'm going to kind of slide through a little bit. 159. We may be going the wrong direction. 158. Yeah, we may be. 157. It's a cool cover, though. Multiple copies of 157. I think you like that one. 155, 149, yeah, we may have 184, right? 186, 182, 182, 181, 180. One ninety four, one ninety nine, two hundred. We may not, we may not have it here. We may not have it here. We're gonna set these off to the side. And then what did I say? One eighty four. Yeah. Make sure. Yeah. One eighty four. May not have it. Two hundred. right there little John Byrne little John Byrne right there that's cool 32 a couple of John Byrne books here he had a he had a nice little run on uh, Wonder Woman John Byrne right there he had a nice run I'll go back through and look at these 121 giant size anniversary issue 120 is that Perez that is let's pull that one out this little Perez book there 119 John Byrne 118 let's pull up check Wonder Woman real quick uh, I have not given up hope on one 184 we'll keep our fingers crossed
That's a cool book right there. It's a, uh, a little homage to a uh, Flash book. Can't remember what issue it is. You guys may know better than I, but uh, definitely something that I've seen on a Flash book before. A lot of, a lot of the John Byrne run is here. It's 104s. Looking at 104. It's 103 right there. That's really cool. I've already pulled some of these out previously. Um, as I mentioned, a lot of these John Burns are uh, in elsewhere in the collection as well. So a lot of those have already been separated out. Actually going down 90, which is 197 there. Let's so we'll see whether we can find it's 100. Another 100, another 100. Multiple copies of certain books, 94, 92, 90 right there. Nope, 91, sorry. I meant 92. There's a little, little significance there. Nothing crazy. 89, I think we just skipped over 90. Yep, 89, skipped over 90. See what else in here. A lot of the Adam Hughes books are really, really fantastic. As I've mentioned before, those are some um, really, really great covers from Adam. He had a he had a nice stretch, seventy one right there. I think fifty is the next key to. Perez cover. Let's see if we can skip a couple. Find 50 in here. I want to say I already have a 50. 63. Let's see if this one is 50. There we go. 50 right there. Bagged and boarded. Definitely knew his books. Let's see what this is. Ooh, another 50. Not crazy expensive, but definitely cool books. Another one there. Another very good. Okay, let's see what else is coming up. Nineteen. It's a big jump. Let's see what these are. Hmm. It's interesting. It's thirty-five right there. We just jumped to uh, I think a new series here. That's issue zero. Pulled a couple of copies of those already. So we definitely have a little bit of a transition here. We are in another another volume. Blocking one of my lights. Hopefully you guys will still be able to see. That's a cool cover. 33. 32. 30. Let's see if we can find this volume here that was you may not be able to find this volume though you may just have to go back through that's cool 25 that's cool it's 24 Gail Simone, 14, 13. Let's see if the number one's in here. It's two. There's the number one right there. Terry Dodson is the uh, artist, I do believe, on this one. Let's see if we can find this. There may not. Uh, I don't know what year this is. That's one of the challenges that I'm facing. Off the top of my head. Well, two, there we go. 2006. Let's see if we can find it now. Wonder Woman Volume 3. I think that this may be Volume 3. Oh, I have to check that. We'll pull the number one for now. Set that to the side. A couple of number ones. <laughs> so we'll just we'll just hold one. 48 page final issue 
crisis special. All right, so we're in another another volume. It's like uh, an older volume right there. Different title. Let's turn that around so you guys can see that. Hopefully you can see it. Young Justice. Issue 25. This may be uh, this may be volume one stuff. Let's pop back to or maybe volume two. It's one. Uh, yeah, it's probably volume two from 87. Issue number 25. Let's see what we see. Yep, saying 50 is the big one which we pulled. 83, which I've already pulled. 85. Is this is the same volume. I think it is. I think it is. Okay. So we'll go back to that. Hopefully, I didn't miss something. We'll go back through it again. Let's see what this is. Twenty-two. George Perez. That's cool. A lot of the. Well, not a lot. Two copies. Three, four. Four copies of that one. Let's see if there's anything. Nine. That's twenty. Which one is this? Eighteen. Twelve. Eleven. Ah, lost one. Eleven. Jumped a couple here. Let's see if we can find nine. That is ten. That's nine right there. Nine is uh, first appearance and origin of Barbara. It's third cheetah confirmed to appear in Wonder Woman 1984. That's cool. So we'll set this one off to the side. This is uh, issue number nine. Not bagged and boarded. So we'll, we'll have to bag and board that. That's issue number nine. Let's see if we can find another copy of that one. That's issue 10. Is this nine? Another nine right there. This is issue 11. Let's see if we can find a seven in here. That's eight. That's eight. Another eight. Yes, there is seven right there. Very cool. Look at the significance of seven. First appearance of Barbara becomes a uh, cheetah in issue number nine. So that's the significance of seven right there. And there's another seven. And one more. So we'll rebag and board. Well, not rebag. That's another seven right there. And we'll take a closer look before they get bagged and boarded. So the next major one is issue number one. So that's issue five, four, four. Come on, come on, come on. That is three. A couple of copies of three right there. There's only one more book that is bagged and boarded. That's three, three. That is two. Another copy of two. Another copy. Hey. Yes, 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 yes. And it is the last one, the very last one in the box. It's issue number one. That's cool. That is cool right there. I wanted to find this book. This one's cool. Man, and there's only one copy. Only one copy of that. I'm going to have to go back through. Yeah, that's issue two. I'll go back through and see whether there's another one. There's a lot of books here that I did not touch that are um, that are not bagged and boarded. So I'll go back through and see whether there's something else in there. But um, that is that is issue number one, the fantastic first issue. Very, very cool. A couple of cool things in here. So we'll go back through um, and see what we can see because I went through, kind of hop skipped 
through through some of these. So I'll go back through with the fine tooth comb and kind of see what else is in there. So there you go. That is um, that is a quick uh, digging in my shorts <laughs> video uh, where we we kind of went through and um, saw a little bit of a little bit of some magic here, right? The, the the challenge, of course, with this is that I'm not all that familiar with all of the Wonder Woman books and uh, storylines and things like that. John Byrne did a really good job with this and, and Sensational She-Hulk and several other titles. But I'll go back through here and see what's what's what. Uh, if you guys enjoy this series of Digging in My Shorts, I definitely want to encourage you to check out the playlist because there is one here on the channel where I spend time going through uh, this this 100,000 comic collection as well as other books that are in uh, my collection as well. So if you enjoyed it, definitely want to encourage you to check that out. Hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment behind so we can mix it up in the comment section if you need to reach out to me feel free to do so on instagram at reggie collects take care uh -oh. Uh -oh.